Hi, welcome to iHeart Reviewing Stuff. So I actually have my light turned off because I'm gonna be showing you guys a couple games and I think it's gonna have maybe the least amount of glare if I actually have my light off. And luckily there's just like kind of direct sunlight that comes in my house. I'm actually sitting on the floor. Um, I usually film like up on this counter right next to me that has like cabinets. Uh, but I figured I might as well sit down um, to show you guys these. So big thank you to Super Impulse for sending um, these two games for me to review. I love, love, love these. <laughs> they are so cool. Um, let me try to open up their little uh, cool catalog that always comes with these. So I got one tiny arcade and I got the Hello Kitty Pac-Man, which uh, they're just so awesome that like that was my first choice and I was like, oh my God, I got it, yay. Um, but any of these look really fun. There's Ninja Turtles, which um, when I was a kid, I was actually just talking to my husband the other day, how like, you know, Ninja Turtles, like I remember like being in elementary school and like uh, all my like friends and I like, and most of my friends were girls, like we liked Ninja Turtles. Um, so, but it's, it's weird now, like it's always kind of, uh, if you can even find them, uh, at the store, like at Walmart or Target, they tend to always be like where they consider the boy toys to be. And I'm like, you know, I liked Ninja Turtles. Um, so there's a Burger Time, uh, Rally X, a Qbert, Tetris, I know uh, pretty well. There's a Mappy, I guess it's called. I'm not sure what one of these is. Space Invaders, I feel like I've heard of. Um, Dig Dug, I've heard of. Uh, I can't see what that some of them are. Um, and there's a Frogger. I have a, uh, let me see, a micro arcade, I think, for Frogger. Um, and then let me see. So I have also a micro arcade to review. So I have Frogger. I really want the Oregon Trail one. I'm gonna have to try to find it. Uh, let me see if they mention, yeah, they mention it right over here. Uh, so let's see, what else do they have for the micro? There's a Miss Pac-Man, I think that says. And um, Tempest Atari or something. Uh, Multipede. Oh, and Centipede. I've heard of Centipede. My brother was born in 73, so I bet he knows like some of this even better than me because I remember my brother having an Atari, but, and I remember like going, you could go to the video store and like rent a game to play on your, you could actually rent the console too uh, at the video store. And I can remember like doing that um, as a kid. It's just so blurry to try to remember exactly like what did I even get to play? Um, Cause I was born in 82. So my birthday's today. <laughs> Turned 38. So this is the Hello Kitty uh, Pac-Man Tiny Arcade. Um, so there's an, this one um, takes batteries and it almost has like a keychain. Um, I like how small these are that you could like take it with you on the go. I was actually looking at it before I started filming. Oh, that's really cool detail. They've got like the 25 cents for your coins. Sorry, it comes kind of in and out of focus sometimes on this uh, camera. Um, but I can't quite figure out how you turn the volume down because I will say the noise um, kind of gets to me after a while because it's like you're hearing the same noise. But the Hello Kitty artwork's really cute. I don't think there's really anything Hello Kitty in the game, but I don't get very far. Like, I'm really bad. Um, I definitely have to practice uh, <laughs> some more. So there's just an on-off switch, and this one takes batteries. The other one, Frogger, is like, you can see it's much thinner. Um, and so it's lighter weight. It doesn't have a little key ring for taking it on the go with you, uh, but it does have the USB for like if it needs to be charged and it has an on off switch up here at the top. So that's really cool. Um, and it's a little more buttons, uh, kind of like a Game Boy-ish is what that one gives me vibes for. And this has like the more, what I remember arcade game having with the little joystick. Um, and I think Atari had it as well. Um, okay, so let's get this turned on and you guys can see how bad I am at <laughs> playing games. It just takes practice because I do actually get pretty good like uh, at playing these. So see there's a volume. I don't know how we turn the volume down. I'm going to have to see if I can figure that out. So you got the ghosts coming after you. When I was playing just a second ago, I actually saw like, ah, 
couple cherries pop up. It can get a little... Oh, ah, oh my god! Hey. Okay. <laughs> the ghosts are way over in there. Oh, here's some cherries. So, ah, and you get points for the... Oh, oh how did I eat him? Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, another cherries. Ah! Showed up. Let me eat that. Are you able to eat a ghost when you eat a piece of fruit? I don't know. Because <laughs> I think I ate that ghost after I ate the cherries. So far, I've only seen cherries show up in that one spot, too. So it is a tiny screen um, to get used to. Uh, but I don't think it's all that hard to eh, adjust to. I guess it's just this... Um, Trying to make sure you go where you want to go can be a little tricky. As far as I haven't died yet. <laughs> but if you hear that noise, I don't know if that's like the ghost. Ah, oh, there I died. Okay. Okay. So, and I think that shows you how many you have left. I think I had two when I played earlier. So even though I switched it on and off. And then I don't know. How are cherries like way over there? Hmm. I don't know what that means. So, <laughs> I'll go ahead and turn it off, because, yeah, the noise, I'm going to have to figure out how you can turn that, maybe the volume all the way down, um, because the woo woo woo, -woo like, noise, I just kind of tend to have a sensitivity to those kind of things, uh, so that's the only thing that kind of, like, <laughs> I'm starting to be like, okay, I get the point, um, so let's see, actually, I see two switches at the top here, oh, there's a noise cancel on this one! Okay, I'll leave it on for you guys, but look how tight that is. So that's the noise, and then you can actually turn the volume off. So it doesn't have a level thing like that one. There must be some way to, like, you know, bonk it down or bonk it up. Uh, so this one has an off. That's good to know. Even though I don't recall this one's noise bugging me. So let's go ahead and get this turned on. So, and this is Frogger, which I have kind of played, like, similar games games to this with my daughter at Chuck E. Cheese. So I kind of understand what it is. Um, but I don't know. I still gotta learn what some buttons are. Like that one, I don't really know what the two red buttons are exactly. I don't really know what these two are. I know this is like, you know, you go, you gotta get across uh, the thing. Sometimes you have to, I think, be on something to get all the way across. You get three frogs before like, you know, it's game over. So it says like push the start button, but I don't ever understand which ones start. Okay. I think you only have so much time too. So let's see. Eee. Oh my God. Ah! Ooh, okay. And then this, I think you have to let, land on it when it's red. Oh, see I fell in the water. I'm dead. Okay. So you can't get hit by these things. And then you got a little bit of time here, but I think you want to go on these when they're red. See how they kind of change color? Oh, I fell in the water again. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to make it across. I've only made it across once so far from the times I've played. Ooh, goodness, this is... It's like, eh, get across. Okay. Let's wait for... And then I don't know if your time runs out or... Oh, I fell in the water. Okay, game over. <laughs> okay, I'll try. Let me try one more time. So I think this is start. Okay, so I don't really know what the other one is. Usually there was like a way to pause your game, I thought. Okay, so yeah, that's the time. Which I'm, man, it goes by fast. Not the time. Okay. Oh, did I make it? Yay! So, oh. I'm already crossing again. Let's see if I can get across again or not. Ooh, see, so you have to make sure those are red because I think I've gone on them before when they're not. Oh! Oh, I couldn't go there, I think, because I already went there before. Oh! Okay, so you have to go in a different, you have to land in a different spot. So there's like five spots up there. I don't know what that little image was, though. It's just in one spot. Ooh. Oh, I fell in the water. Oh, goodness. I'm gonna end up dying. But yeah, this one, the noise doesn't uh, get to me like the... Oh, it did. I saw the little did. 
thing. Okay, well, <laughs> so yeah, really fun game. I like how this is very lightweight. It's very thin. It's cool that you can charge it. I think I, I feel it over here, the little USB port. Um, so that's cool. You don't need batteries and batteries kind of, I think, are able to make this be more lightweight because the other one takes um, probably like two or three triple A's. I'm trying to see if I can see on it because I don't have the lights on. Yeah, I can't really see. Um, but so that one makes this one a little more heavy to take on the go. Uh, but it's cool. It has a little key ring, like, you know, if you want to attach it to like your purse or belt loop, I guess, or, um, but I would say that one's probably this kind I kind of like, cause, um, that would be really lightweight if you just stuck it in your purse. And it's cool that you can cancel out the noise really easily on this one, because like, if you want to play it while you're waiting, like, you know, at the dentist or something, you know, <laughs> some kind of place you go where you're in a waiting room, that'd be pretty cool. All right, so if you guys enjoyed sharing, thank you again, Super Impulse and World's Smallest, uh, for sending me these to review. I'm definitely going to have to take a look at what else you guys got, because uh, these can be addicting. <laughs> so super fun. So there's Micro Arcade is like the more kind of thin paperweight ones, and then Tiny Arcade is the more actually ones that look like a arcade game like the Hello Kitty Pac-Man one I've got so but they make a good amount of different games so if you're into retro stuff the 80s actually I should probably say like the 70s 80s and 90s um and maybe 2000s I don't know um so these are really fun and I know Marissa's gonna enjoy playing with them too she actually likes this kind of stuff too so that's pretty cool so thank you again and see you guys next time bye